Welcome to the Gets Big List, prowess list here for Gruel, my friends. Welcome to today's episode as we break down tea stains list here. Excited about this one. Thank you for tuning in. As always, if you got a question, if you got a comment along the way, do let me know because I'd love to hear from you. On top of that, feel free to join us in our amazing Discord server and community, my friends. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. That's a great way for more content. Now, let's get into it here as we break down this list. We'll also go play the competitive standard best of one here for Outlaws of the Thunder Junction. And on top of that, pull it all back together and see how we did. Now, here's what we got going on. Again, like I said, this is T-Stain's list, a mythic player. Uh, breaking it down here with Gruel Prowess, like I said, running 60% plus, a very, very fun list. Now, this one does get big fast. Now, that is a key and the big pickups here um, as well out of uh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Now, first and foremost, though, this list revolves around Prowess. Um, big with Monastery Swift Spear here. Additionally, we got Fugitive Codebreaker and then Slick Shot, similar because of the pump whenever you cast a non creature spell, the plus two, plus zero, not the plus one, plus one. Um, this is definitely one of the MVPs, um, becoming a very, very key component here um, with the new release. Now, a couple things about this by going green instead of running just mono red, which we've done, you can check that out here. Um, you do get advantage with Audacity here. Um, this is going to give us some draw when it goes in the graveyard. That definitely plays well with Demonic Ruckus as well. Um, so here we're going for the draw. We're getting more draw. That can be a problem with some of these engines. That is one of the reasons why these lists have gotten much better with Outlaws of Thunder Junction. Um, and then additionally here we got Tyver Stand. It gives us Hexproof and Indestructible. So we got some protection uh, for our creatures now, which is huge as well, where you didn't have that in Mono Red specifically. And then we still get access to Questing Druid here. Whenever you cast a spell that's a white, blue, black, red, uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on this as well, and gives us card advantage um, with Seek the Beast there. So all very, very powerful things. Um, we're taking advantage of the Fugitive Codebreaker, giving us additional draw. The other thing that's really nice about this is it caps out at two. Huge, 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 huge there, my friends. Caps at two. Only a two curve. Crazy. Crazy fast. So that is what it is. You're going to put the pedal to the metal. All about that support. The one thing that we don't necessarily have here as much with the mono red version is as much burn um, to the face, those kinds of things. So those could be some considerations. Um, but this one gives you a little bit more protection. Uh, against commits or crimes as those things as we like to say so um pedal the metal put the power put the pressure on take advantage of slick shot definitely play plot plot is such a great mechanic um giving you the ability to cast multiple things from exile um gives you ability to play around a lot of the control magic those kinds of things as well so let's get into it here because we're ready for it with our gruel prowess and gonna make it big and take it home here today for you. All right, there we go. Let's go find a match. Mono Red Prowess right there. You can play that as well. Um, check it out here on the channel. And in the meantime, let's get at it here because we're going for it. Can we get 3 0? I don't know. We gotta start with a 1 0 first. As always, we got swag and merch available to you. Here on the channel it's a nice way to support thank you for that euler is up first all right so we got access to everything let's go ahead and keep this if we can take a double advantage here and get some other stuff and, and play around not bad we'll have to make that uh, decision on monastery swift spear if we want to slow it down all right we got mono red here um, enters the battlefield tapped when it enters surveil one. We're gonna hang on to that for now because we don't necessarily need it. Let's see what our opponent's gonna play. We do want to play green, get Tyvar in here. Um, going to assume, but maybe assumes the wrong thing here. Let's go ahead and get that green on just for this. Um, that they may very well. All right, we're gonna plot this one. I'm a, they might burn Swiss Fear here, though. There it is. There it goes. It's gone. Ow! We had the protection that we needed. Is it blue? It's not. Ooh, it's a Mardu. So good news here is this. Um, we got two reds. 
We can definitely do that. We can take advantage of the surveil here. Which is kind of what I want to do. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's go ahead and put this one on here. We're not going to play that quite yet. So here's why I'm doing that. So I still have the protection if I need it. Um, and then we can take advantage of some of this other stuff here on the next turn, which is going to be potentially more important. So let's go ahead and do this. Now what we want to do is we want to cast this as well. We got two other things we can take advantage of. We can hold this one up. We do want to make sure we have that green. So let's go ahead and play this. Um, let's go here. The air... Now here is where we can load up. We'll pay zero. And we're good. That's gonna miss. Now here is where we absolutely go all the way out. Look at that. So that's why we played around it a little bit. And that right there shows you 200% why splashing green on the gruel side is super helpful. Because if they're getting rid of those creatures relatively early like our opponent was, you may have some problems maintaining and keeping the board state. On to our second match. Alright, Lirette. All right, we can keep this again. We do have our green. It's gonna come and tap though. So we need to make that decision on how we wanna do this. We may wanna wait on this one specifically. Let's go ahead and play that. Take the one in there just so we can get the green on. Ooh, they're going big. They are going big, my friends. So now what we need to do, we got a second green. We don't need that quite yet. So let's go ahead here and do this. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Yep, there's the burn. Get the draw though, which is what I was hoping for. All right, so we got some recovery there. All right, we got another red. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop this one on here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play this. One of the things that we got to be paying attention to, they're probably going to burn it again. Yeah, maybe not. They waited. All right, so they got that in there. They got to have lethal here, though. They got it. Oh, 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 oh. Against mono red. Very, very close there. Now, if we go back to this, we actually probably had lethal. Um, because what I would have done is drop the forest, put fugitive in, and then we would have just blown stuff away with these two. It would have been enough. One turn too slow. Good game, my friend. Good game. Not bad. All right. On to our third and final match here. Now, what we could have done instead is we could have held up, um, instead of going over, keeping the, um... Uh, the burn up to take something off the board that would have made the difference as an example um, that would have give us one life left we wouldn't have necessarily had lethal on the next turn though now here's a ton of burn um, we could certainly try it yeah kill the Kenny Doing something a little bit different with this list and this deck. That's why I'm keeping this. Um, we can do the play with fire and look, which is going to be helpful. Um, if we know that we're going to get a creature, that kind of thing. It might make a huge difference here. We'll see. 
or also give us the ability to do 10 damage right to the face by playing around our opponent. Or maybe they'll just time out. All right. Let's see what's going to happen, my friends. Hello there. Hello. Now, going back to this, um, a couple things that are important, like we said. The first one, uh, playing around, being able to have that ability with green here to evade some of that uh, removal, which is what we did. Um, in the mono red list, again, we were off by just one tick. One tick. And as we wait for Kill Kenny. I'm still here. That's good. It's not me. Always got to check. Important to check, my friends. And there they go. By default, may we get a win. We'll find out here shortly. Let's kill Kenny. Had to go to the bathroom. Or got to disconnect. I feel for them. Do I do I do. But I also like to win. Why I'm playing this list, right? Alright. Here we go. Uh oh. So instead, let's do this. We will play that. Get that on the board. And we'll know relatively soon if they're here or not. And if not, we'll grab one more match with this list because they are quick fast and furious as always and voila we could have played the play with fire and saw what was coming but I wanted to get something on the board right away instead of going to the face just in case there can be some strategy, my friends, as you run into ropers, or people have timed out, or disconnected, or just walked away and went to the bathroom, or had something happen. Now, I do hope the best for Kill Kenny here, and that nothing bad happened to our friend. All right, here we go once again. Boom, and we got it. Look at that. That is also why you play Gruel Prowess. Your opponents. Just don't show up. All right, let's go to one more match here. We'll make it four, not our third and final. That is not how we're going to close today's episode. Absolutely, positively not, my friends. And because I like this deck a lot. All right, we can keep this. Good news is our turn one, so the good piece here is we can play this Ruckus instead. We will take advantage of that. gonna hurt just a little bit and do this I am actually gonna play this take the damage right away let's get rid of that there we go we can keep that one um, let us do this Now, when this comes in, uh, Menace and Trample. So we will take advantage and get that in right away. Going to be a little tricky. We will see here. Um, they may take it off. They may take it off. Uh-oh. Good game. Double Strike. 
Double strike. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They said good game, and they cast the wrong thing. They thought they had stolen goodies there, my friends. Uh-oh. So here is where we need to decide on a couple of things. I think we bait it here. Um, I think that's what we do. Because we can play this one in when we need to. We want to keep the two up. Let's go ahead and play it here. We'll see if they go for it. They may. If they do, we can take the runer off. Ooh, there we go. Now, we'll wait. We're going to hold up the lightning strike. Now again, it's as long as they don't have a creature with power four, it's going to gain double strike. What we need to be careful of. They're not going to have prowess. They need two monstrous rages. If they have two, they'll get it. If they don't... Oh! We are so far so good. With Fling! Oh, no! <laughs> that was good. All right, well, that is a way to end. We'll take that for sure. A fun one, nonetheless. We did go, what, two and two, right? Um, certainly 60% on the first three, uh, to be fair. It was, a, it was a good game. So we had a lot of fun with that. That was the Mono Red Fling or Rakdos Fling list uh, specifically. Um, and with that, a good matchup here today. So once again, this is T-Stain's list, uh, Mythic Player. Uh, and running a 60% Gruel Prowess list. We did do four matches. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And with that, if you still got a question, if you got a comment, let me know because I'd love to hear from you as always. And feel free to join us in our amazing community and Discord server, my friends. Um, with that, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate your support. Thank you for the likes and the subs as we continue to grow this amazing community. On top of that, thank you to all of our members. As always, we do have memberships available and affiliate links, all great ways to support the channel. If you're looking for cards, those kinds of things, check out some of that stuff there. Um, lastly, don't forget our socials, at me, chat me, post your list. I love playing them. I love uh, showcasing your stuff here, um, and you might it might come. So uh, absolutely do that, and your fan art, those kinds of things too. So with that, we'll see you again soon. Enjoy this list and have some fun fun my friends and have some fun magic take care